Hey guys, Super Godzilla Final Wars here, and today I'm, I'm going to be talking about a, another ship that I made in Godzilla Jr. and Akami of Love Story. Now, um, I'm going to repeat this again like what I did in the previous video before the internet got cut out, and we had to stay about two days, days or three days without internet. Anyways, and that was explaining the ship between, or the relationship, or love story, whatever you want to call it, between GMK King Ghidorah and Najida. I explained that, you can go check it out. And now in this video, we're going to be explaining about another ship called Zilla Jr. x Chelsea. You guys are not familiar about this particular ship. It was not mentioned as a lot, it only had a few moments, but now I'm going to be explaining the full story. Now remember, I do not remember everything of Godzilla Jr. and the Com Made Love Story audiobook. So if, if you guys have better memories than I do, please let me know if I got certain stuff wrong. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So, I believe they met when... Night Ray lost their previous base to Godzilla Earth. Because remember, Godzilla Earth was created to kill Godzilla Jr. and the others. But he failed after turning to the good side. But that doesn't happen in like a few chapters later, I think. Anyways, these were the new recruits, Chelsea and Susano, a human imperial arms. Chelsea was not aware about Night Ray having giant monsters on their side that had the forms of human beings. Of course, she met Zell Jr. and they got to know one another. Then he revealed on what they are. They are giant monsters from a different universe. The beat their people from their universe to not accept them and kind of kick them out, sending them to a completely different universe. And Chelsea actually feels bad that they actually got kicked out of their home because their humans in their own universe did not accept them. Basically, they were tired of all the destruction, death, chaos, and constantly rebuilding cities. Chelsea explains her backstory to Zilla Jr., and he explains hers. His was a bit more depressing than, hit than Chelsea's. And for a while, they actually started dating. Now, when they got married, they actually got married right after... after GMK, King Ghidorah, and Najita. So Chelsea became the queen of the mutations, while Zill Jr. was king of the mutations. Now, for their children, they have two sons and only one daughter. Their sons are Millennium Zilla and Shin Zilla, and their daughter. She goes by the name of Legendary Zilla. That's their names. Now, their appearances... Now, until I come up with their actual human forms... Now, to keep in mind, their human forms will not look similar to the one... To their... To the human forms in Godzilla well, and Mikasa in Coming of Darkness. Their human forms will look different. Basically, every series that I did on my previous YouTube channel... Their human forms will look different. They won't look, look they won't look identical, they will just look slightly different. Now for their appearances, um no Legendary Cell looks kinda identical to her mother. Her but with greenish, orangish hair. And she actually has red eyes, kinda like a Kame. But her personality is a bit more aggressive. 
and she's really not up to gay relationships. She just doesn't like it. She thinks it's weird, and she also thinks that nothing will come out of it. So that's why she avoids staying out with gay people. Now, why is she a bit more aggressive? It is unknown. <clears throat> now, for her two brothers, they look kinda identical to their father. Just kinda. They, um, Millennium Zilla has the same color hair as his mother, but green eye, but the same color eyes as his father. Shinzilla, well, you basically kind of tell, he, he's basically like Shin Godzilla, but different. Now, for Millennium Zilla's personality, he is slightly a bit more identical. He kind of acts a lot more like his mother. Or just slightly different. Shinzilla, on the other hand, acts more like his father. Except more like Shin Godzilla, but in a way. Now, they have slightly different abilities than their father does. Um, as you can tell, Legendary Zilla, she has similar abilities as. You can kind of say similar. Like, well, Legendary Godzilla, just a bit more, less powerful than Legendary Godzilla's, but powerful enough to inflict serious damage to their opponent, to her opponents. Millennium Zilla, basically more like Millennium Godzilla, but a bit more different. And you can obviously tell what Shin Zilla's abilities are. Now for their atomic breaths, I don't normally talk about their abilities as much, but I will if I want to. Millennium Zilla's atomic breath is a bit more dark orange rather than light orange like Godzilla 2000's atomic breath was. Shin Zilla is a bit more darker purple. And finally, Legendary Zilla, her atomic breath is actually grayish. She has a great atomic breath, actually. Now, it's unknown why she has a great atomic breath. But, it doesn't really matter to her. And so, that is the love story between Zilla Jr. and Chelsea. I know it wasn't quite as long as GMK, Kingdom, and Najida, but whatever. And like I said, their relationship was not that it wasn't mentioned as much, but it was mentioned a little bit in the actual love story of God's Soldier in the Coming. So that's it for this video. So I hope you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Please comment down below which ship do you think is next? Um, Leone and Angiris, or Rodan and Shell. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.